at a time on their feet for work or other activities. We are so happy to welcome back body and posture expert, osteopath and chiropractor, Dr. Liza Egbogad. Good Hi, morning. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about, you know, the TIFF, Toronto International Film Festival, kicked off yesterday. You yes. see a lot of folks on the red carpet. I had to spend many, many, many hours on the red carpet yes. covering this event and hours on hours standing up. A lot of people will stand for work exactly even, right and so we're talking about body posture but before we get to some exercise for our fitness friday dr liza let's talk about shoes because i yes. know that you have a wonderful line of shoes yes well when it comes to standing for a long time literally the most important thing is what you have on your feet so that it can support you and that you'll mm -hmm. be comfortable because no matter how great your posture is if you're in pain you're not going to feel oh, good it's the worst so yeah. when you're looking for shoes especially when you're standing a long time in red carpet dress shoes mm -hmm. there's some key things you want so you want an orthotic insole. Okay. You want a chunkier heel because that way you're not going to be putting too much pressure. Mm -hmm. You want a wider toe box. And one of the keys and the secret of all Dr. Liza's shoes that makes them so comfortable is to have a rocker sole. So that means that when you're walking, you're actually rocking and that avoids pressure points. So you can stand, walk, and with extra padding around the forefoot mm. and EVA in the platform, which is the same stuff you have in running shoes, you can walk miles and miles on the red carpet and still be comfortable and still be cute. And then worst case scenario, if you can't wear heels on the red carpet, because you don't necessarily have to, mm -hmm. you can wear something with a lower heel, like a booty yes. that's very stabilizing. Yes. Or just some cute, cute flats. Look at that flat. Yes, but you want to make sure flat. they have wide toe box because you need mm -hmm. that room. And as you stand more, your feet tend to swell and get puffy. Mm -hmm. So you want that extra toe room so that you're comfortable at the beginning of the night and at the end. It's <laughs> that extra toe room that really exactly, does make a difference. Exactly, that wiggle room. Okay, that allows your feet to breathe and spread open there. These are gorgeous. Gorgeous shoes. Yeah, so if you can get okay. orthopedic shoes like Dr. Liza's shoes, you will be comfortable all day and all night. <laughs> okay, I love it, Dr. Liza. So now we got that. Now we got to talk about some exercise. We'll move this out of the way yes. here, Stephen. Thank you. Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so first I'm going to show you my absolute favorite posture improving exercise. So this is a chest opener that also drops your shoulder. So what you're going to do is you're going to interlock your hands behind your back. Okay. And then you're going to squeeze your shoulder blades together. And as you're squeezing that, you're going to feel the stretch here. I feel it there. And then so, you want okay. to imagine that someone is pulling your hands down. So you just felt your shoulders drop. So now, after That's you've done, stretch. it's a great stretch. And now look what happens when you release that stretch. Your posture is automatically improved. So it's literally like yes, you just had a treatment this. for me because your shoulders are dropping, mm -hmm. your shoulders are back, your neck is long, and you yeah. just feel better and mm -hmm. you look better after doing this I great love stretch. This. Now you've worked on celebrities as well, right? Yeah, so this mm -hmm. is actually one of the exercises that I give all my celebrity patients mm -hmm. and the one that I get the best feedback on. They're like, oh my gosh, I do this every That's time amazing. before I go to the red carpet, before I go to work, before I film because you just feel better and yep. you look better and then they do this throughout the day. So I usually recommend everyone do this 10 times okay. in the day. That feels amazing. Bringing yes. the shoulder blades together, thinking about that yes, is exactly. what, that's the key for me right yes. there. And I love this yes. move. Okay, thank and you. And now if okay. you want to look taller and feel lengthened, I do. I do. the key thing to do is a back bend. So for the back bend, you can just use your hands to support your lower back. Okay. And then you're going to take a deep breath in. And then as you breathe out, you're just going to arch back and look up to the ceiling. And when you're doing that, you're going to feel a lengthening at the front of the hips. You're going to feel decompression in your lower back. And then when you get up, you're going to feel like you're a couple inches taller, right? Like your head this. can touch the ceiling. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm very aware now. Like, I'm, you know, when I'm at the desk sometimes, I'm like, come on, sit up straight. What do I do? Now I know. These are very concrete moves that you can do. And exactly. I love this one. Deep breath in and then exhale. Yes. Oh, I love it. And then we can go the other way as well. Okay. So the forward fold is great because it stretches the back of your legs, which is great when you're standing all mm. the time, mm -hmm. lengthens your lower back as well, and brings a rush of blood to your face so that you have that red carpet glow. Ooh, There'll be camera ready. Like that. Okay. So to do that, you can, again, you can just put your hands behind your back and interlock mm -hmm. them, and then you just want to slowly bend forward and drop your head. 
Oh, there you go. Feel the stretch in the hamstrings. Exactly. So you feel the stretch of the hamstrings, mm. and you probably felt the blood rush mm -hmm. to your face. Mm -hmm. So as we got up, we probably have a glow, right? Uh, just a little glow. Just a little glow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So this is great for the red carpet. And one last one is okay. especially if you want to look really refreshed and your neck to look very long and lifted mm -hmm. is a pose called a facial yoga pose called baby bird. So baby what you're bird. doing with this one is okay. you're taking the tip of your tongue to the roof of your mouth. And then you want to look up slightly. And then while you're doing that, you want to swallow. So you're swallowing as the tip of your tongue is at the roof of your mouth. Okay. It should be difficult. And you're going to feel these muscles working when you're doing this. So that's going to enhance your jawline, give you a longer, that's tighter fun. neck. Yes. And you are going to just look more radiant mm. and longer, leaner on the red carpet From, or anywhere, even you for go. your Zoom meeting. There you know, you like go. It's, exactly. It's always good to look and feel good. <laughs> I tell you, Dr. Liza, from the very first move, I love it. You're 